In tonight's Not In Your Side Education Watch, it may be the hottest homework ever assigned. Steamy sex scenes, explicit language, but does it warrant banning a book? Maggie Vespa, just back from Sierra Vista's Buena High with details. Guy, we first brought you this story last week, and since then, it's the paragraph read around the world, or at least around Southern Arizona. And tonight, Sierra Vista administrators have to decide, dreaming in Cuban, to ban or not to ban. You'll remember the racy read. Hugo and Felicia stripped in their room, dissolving easily into one another. With language too explicit for TV, part of the National Common Core curriculum, teachers doled out dreaming in Cuban to sophomores at Buena High. My heart sank. Parent Debbie Stoner called it porn and filed a complaint. I was appalled. Porn or not, the question yeah, at this public meeting, is this porn. book bannable? Although sex is mentioned, it is not what the book is about. The majority, no. We're not endorsing what happens in a book. We don't teach Macbeth to teach murder. Were you surprised or what was your reaction to the fact that a lot of the opinions today were not in agreement with yours? No, I wasn't surprised. Stoner blamed the timing of today's meeting, 4 p.m. She says many who agree with her couldn't make it. Well, that may be true. So Not On Your Side decided to give the people of Sierra Vista who did not make it to this meeting the chance to weigh in on this steamy subject matter themselves. Crystal Prince's daughter is in the class assigned that book. So as a mom, that doesn't bother you? No. Nope. Okay. And you have any problem with your high schooler reading no. that? Nope. And like in the meeting, a majority we spoke to agree. I see worse stuff than this on, you know, most cable channels. I believe in uh, the right to, to choose uh, uh, what you're going to read. Except for Except one who sided it. with Stoner. Very adult and uh, to me, that should be only for married people. A debate, a division over high school homework. Now, Buena High's principal plans to make a decision guy on this book by Friday. Dreaming in Cuban, meanwhile, has been pulled from that class. Administrators say in the future, any sensitive material like this will be brought to parents' attention ahead of time so that kids can opt out. All right, Maggie. Thank you.